So audio is recording and this is a YouTube video. Test, test, test. Okay, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, welcome back to the next exercise video. Unfortunately, something has gone wrong on my website and the download part is down. Welcome back to another episode of SolidWorks Exercise with me, Ryan, your host. I'm sitting here, it is 10.20 p.m. here in Germany, and I prepared this part for you, and I'm gonna go over the drawing of it, Pching! and start it from scratch, show you how it is done. If you think you're better than this, then don't watch this video, but to like and subscribe to the channel maybe the next video will be more challenging for you and you will learn something from that if you're not that person then sit tight because we're about to have a great time modeling this part and at the end of this video i'm gonna show you where to download it as well so let's just go to the part and get started first thing first let me tell you how to approach a design like that okay so this is a rather simple part we are looking at the front, top, and the right view angles. And we have all sorts of dimensions over here. Now we have to decide which one to take and start. Well, so there are different ways to approach this design. You can either start from the base over here, draw this rectangle and this half circle over here, extrude it up, then do this rectangle and extrude it even further up, and this one further up, and this one further up. Or, a new way that I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna start off with this profile over here. Then I'm gonna extrude it for this amount, which is 45 plus two times 7.5, which is the wall thickness on each side that results to 60. Without any further ado, start drawing this profile with me. I'm gonna put this on the side, select front plane, activate the sketch and pick the line start drawing from the origin point go up on a tuesday go right go up and on this air we come here we go up we go back up back up then we go tangential like that it should be like that right so hmm. something like this okay this is roughly this one and you might wonder why i did not draw this step over here and it is because this step goes all the way through the part you can see this over here and that's why we will do it in the further steps and not now so we have one hole here and one hole here, each a circle. Let's do them two circle. And oh, the way I choose the circle, by the way, is that I hold the right click on the mouse and move it to the right. That's a mouse gesture that I have set. You can do it too, but I'm not gonna tell you in this video. Now let's just assign some dimensions to this. First of all, this and this are tangential already. That's good. Let's see what we have. Six millimeter height, 12 millimeter heights. Let's just do two at a time. Six and 12, right? So the next ones, this is 13. Uh, okay, let's just do 13 only. Press escape to get rid of it and bring it up. And 13, what? 13. Now we go back here. The radius of this big circle is 21, and this one, the diameter is 18. So this is 21, and this is 18. Boom. What do we have here? We have 10, the diameter, position 15 from this edge, and 12 from this edge. Also this 12, I saw it here for this one, but it was actually for the circle. Nevertheless, it was right. So 12 from the bottom, 15 from this edge and 10 itself. So we do 10, we do 15. Oh, sorry, 12 from the bottom 
and 15 from the side. I just select this edge and then select this point and then boom, you get to choose the image. Very well, what else do we have here? We have from this point to this point 50. Let's do that. It means smart dimension, this line to this line, 50. I press it on the keyboard. You see these lines are starting to get black, meaning it's going from an underdefined state to the fully defined state. This is 30. And I guess we're done with this. If I click this one, 30. We are not so done. Some stuff are missing, I suppose. Okay, we have the height, the total height of 81, which would be from this edge on the bottom to this point on the top. We see it on the side. Let's do this. Here, I'm gonna teach you a trick. Usually, if you select smart dimension and select an edge, then select this line, it would select the center point of that circle. It doesn't select the furthest point on the circumference of the circle. However, if you select the first line normally, then hold shift on the keyboard, then select the circle, it can pick that point for you. And you can just press 81 and then boom, you're good. I guess we have to calculate this length over here. How do we do that? We have 50 over here, we have 20, and we have, oh, so we have 20, this is 20. Can we do this? And this is 30. Oh, I haven't defined anything. The radius is 30 and we have this 20. So from this edge to this point is 50, meaning from here to here is 50. All right. And I guess I have to define this edge. So if this is 50 and this is 12, it means it's 62. From here to here is also 50. Minus the 12 is 38. 38. Minus the 30, it's eight. So again, 50 minus 12, which would be from here to here, 38. Then 38 minus the 30, eight, okay? So. Eight, and it goes fully defined, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as I said, we're gonna extrude it for seven five plus 45 plus seven five, which equals to 60. We do that. And since this is symmetrical geometry, I'm gonna select mid plane and set it to 60. Click okay. Now we have some cuttings to do. First of all, I'm gonna click on this surface, select sketch, activate the sketch mode on this surface. Yes, I can select a flat surface for drawing. Then I'm gonna select a rectangle. Use smart dimensions to define this wall thickness, 7.5. Select the edge, select this line, 7.5. And the height of 42. This is 45, this is 42. Uh, so this is 42. And this is 45, which we already have. We don't need to define it again. And I cut this through the parts by using extruded cut. Boom, this should be rounded. I can either use fillet or cut it. If I use fillet, I'm gonna end up with a line in the middle. Let me show you quickly. If it's 30 on the radius, I have to pick radius 30. These two lines, yes. The shape is okay, but I have a line here and I don't like that. So I'm not gonna use fillet, I'm gonna use a different feature. I'm gonna draw a circle on this surface. Click, get, press escape, make it normal too. Then circle, like, like that, not like that, like that. Then press control key down, select circle, select the edge, make it tangent. And do it also for this one, tangent. I also do it for this one, tangent. Now I can go to features, use extruded cut, open the selected counters and select these two and then cut it. Boom, 
now i don't have that line here i like it better so what's next we have one hole here one hole here and we have this half a circle over here let's do these two holes first uh so start drawing on one of these two surfaces doesn't matter i'm gonna pick this one Boom. circle find the center this one like that so this one is already in the center the diameter is 15 and this one 18 and it should also be in the middle so this one is in the middle and this is 16 fully defined now this one should be in the middle first hold the control key down select this point and this point and make them horizontal then right click on this line select midpoint control key down select the center and select vertical now we set it at 18 so that's awesome now we can go to features extrude cut and select through all both now we have two holes almost finished i said we have this half circle which is tangential to this line over here you can see that so it's really easy and it's in the middle i start drawing on this surface so click on it and select sketch circle set it on the midpoint bring it to the tangent line under defined but if i hold the control key down select the circle and select the edge and click on tangent it will be fully defined Go to features and use extruded cut now we want this to be to this point we know this is 12 so you can also type 12 or if you forgot you can just select up the surface and pick the surface it means the extrusion doesn't go beyond this pink surface and you click ok and it's here ready one more thing is that pocket that i showed you in the beginning over here we have an opening that goes all the way through the part and it seems like the height of it is 4 and the width of it is 40 assuming it is in the middle so to do this i'm going to start drawing something on the back because i only have a flat surface and that's good enough to start drawing on that select a rectangle let's start drawing a random rectangle press escape to get rid of the highlight right click on this line and select midpoint control key down select the other point and apply a vertical relation to these two so this rectangle is always centered in the middle now the height is four and the width was 40 we saw that now we can extract it through all for the part to create pocket like that and if i zoom back i can be sure that it's finished if you want to change the color do it as you wish okay the part is finished if you would like to practice this part and download the drawing sheet or other drawing sheets and the videos you just go to the website go to the downloads these are the tutorials not these go to the downloads you can find it over here this is exercise number four we just did these are from the videos from the past week you find these videos on my youtube channel as well speaking of the youtube channel don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel i have a lot of good videos for you a lot of challenging ones for beginners to learn challenge for professionals practice for intermediates and so on Hope to see you in the next video don't forget to put a comment below let me know what you think about this video if i should do more of these videos or change it into a different type of video peace